At this stage, we haven't done it for a while, so it might be worth doing a close and apply on Power Query Editor. All you need to do is click that button. And if you didn't remember from earlier, obviously this is what we need to do. So whenever we make any changes in Power Query, by submitting and going close and apply, obviously everything will feed through to our main Power BI report. So you can see there's a few bits it's now loading in there. Hopefully it won't take too long. Nope, we can see everything had a green tick and has come through. And as we refer to our data pane, we can now see that we've got four queries in there. The only one thing we're obviously you draw eyes drawn to is Power BI data. So there may be benefits or uses you have for bringing through this particular query. But for us, all we're doing with Power BI data is using that as a source for the other three queries. So we don't really want this in our Power BI report tables just because, well, it's one more query than you or one more table than you need. And it can obviously be confusing. So what we're able to do is go back into Power Query, Power Query Editor or Transfer Transform Data button, as you just saw there. And all I'm going to do is go to that Power BI data query, right click, and you can see we've got two options available to us here, both of which are ticked at the moment. So you've got the enable load and include in report refresh. So if you were to untick include in report refresh, what would happen is this data wouldn't update. So if you had a scenario where you wanted to get data from a system or a file like we're doing, but you didn't want it to ever update again, you would untick this selection to ensure that it is never refreshed as the rest of your report is refreshed. There may be scenarios that you want this, but I can probably assume on the majority of cases, you'll probably want to leave that uh, ticked so that it will continue or the data set will continue to update. However, for enable data load, this simply means, do you want to load this data into your Power BI port? You can see by default, it's been ticked as with all of our other queries. But if we simply unselect that, you see you're gonna get a warning just to make sure uh, it's not impacting anything in your report. But what's happened is the font has now gone into italics. Uh, so we can confirm, or we know that obviously this has now been unenabled to go into the report. When we simply go close and apply now, of course, it just needs to do another refresh, but looking at our data pane over the right here, and if you, you might have just missed it or caught it, but you can see that that Power BI data table has now disappeared, having now obviously enabled the load to report. So again, a bit more of a sort of tip and best practices there, but hopefully again, gives you some logic and another way that you can organize and better tidy your data, especially when looking in the Power BI uh, view, so as the front end as we are here. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.